Here's the trail map for any of you that were wondering. I'm just going to record it for a second so you guys can pause on it if you want to. Hey guys, going out for another bit of an overnight again. This time going someplace a little bit cooler. Um, Pleasant Mountain on, in Maine. It's one of my favorite hikes. I'm about oh, five minutes into the trail right now. Not even. Uh, coming up on one of two bridges it's on this trail. I'm not sure if you can hear the water or not. But it's coming right up. This isn't going to be a super long video, I don't think. I don't know. Hoping for somewhere around the 20 minute mark. So I'm going to try to keep these little clips short in effort to show you guys some of the summit. I've got my dog Galladin with me today. She's one of the fastest of our dogs. I got four dogs, by the way. If you guys are wondering, I got a different dog in every video. I have Abby, who you saw in my last camping video. Georgia, who was featured in my EDC video. This is Gallatin, named after the Gallatin Mountain Range in Montana by my girlfriend, who spent some time out there as a raft guide. Got my, my big pack on tonight. Going in with about a, between 30 and 35 pounds worth of gear. It's the same setup that I showed in my uh, camping bag slash uh, bug out bag tear down video with uh, minus the dry bag with the spare clothes because it's just an overnight and uh, I added some food in a bear bag that I'm going to tie up in a tree like my last video. Here's the first bridge. As you can see, it's just a little ATV bridge. But this is one of my favorite spots. Right up there, we can see that water coming down from. It makes a little natural swimming pool. It's perfect for when you end your hike during the summertime. You can kind of rinse off in that water. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys uh, come back when I gain some more altitude. Right now I'm at about 500 feet above sea level. Only going to about 2,000 feet above sea level. But uh, I'll bring you back when I get there. All right guys, there's the trail we were doing. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky, I'm out of breath. Woo. Here's the uh, specs for the trail right here. Went on Warren Road, that's where we came in. 2.3 miles, we've got probably another Oh, quarter mile left in the trail. This time it really took it out of me, you guys, because I'm a, I'm a little out of shape. My dog's, uh, she's doing better than I am, but she's huffing and puffing too. She's required a couple breaks. This is my first, uh, first time getting up here since it's got warm again. I think that's what it is. It's not so much the distance or the, the weight that I'm carrying. It's, I haven't acclimated to the heat since the winter time. Like I said, this is my first time coming up the mountain since it's gotten warm. It's actually about 80 degrees here in Maine right now. Took Galley's uh, jacket off of her because I could sense she was getting a little hot. This is where the trail gets nice and easy up here at the top. It does get a lot steeper, but we're home free. This is where we're spending the night. I'll come back at you guys when I uh, find the spot I'm pitching the tent. Look at that. How the hell did someone get a car up here? Or a tractor? Holy shit. Well, it is called the Fire Warden's Trail. They come up here from time to time. Maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe they're doing some repair work up on the tower that's up here. I'll show you guys that in a little while, too. All right, guys, I have reached my destination. I just want to take this opportunity to show you guys this because this is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite time to be here. And this is my favorite place to be. Hands down, one of my favorite places in the world. Check this out. There's my camp. And here's my view. Galadin's in the tent because she doesn't like the bugs. I do sleep with my dog in the tent, if you guys are wondering how I configure them while I sleep at night. Just look at that sunset. Absolutely stunning. Hell tower. I'm going to show you guys the 
this little spot because it's the absolute perfect spot to pitch a one person tent. And if you had any bigger of a tent, it probably wouldn't work out for you as well in this little spot. You see this little trail right here? This is where I always pitch my tent when I stay up here. Look at that. Look at Gallatin in there. And just look at that view, guys. Okay. I just want to do a uh, take this second while I got you guys here to remind you guys you only get one life. I know I'm sounding super cheesy right now. Maybe sound like the old hippie that I tend to be sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's right. I, I, I can tend to kind of be a hippie despite how I dress. <laughs> Very one with nature. And that's what I, what I want to get at. I think everybody, if you can take one thing from this video, go out on an adventure, live life, get off the couch. If you're watching this video, you probably are more of an ad the adventurous type anyway. And I encourage you, let this video inspire you. I was inspired to start making videos. I've been camping for a long time. But I was inspired to start making videos about it by uh, another YouTuber by the name of Pharaoh. Shouts out to Pharaoh. You're awesome, my brother. I absolutely love putting on your videos. They're like one of my favorite ways to relax is watching your videos. Uh, I hope you start, uh, start posting more, man. Anyway, uh, shout out to all, all the YouTubers that have been showing me love in the comments. Um, Gypsy Prepper, your videos are awesome, man. I hope you keep making your videos and keep, uh, keep working on your pack and perfecting it. Hell, maybe even sometime we can get together and do a collaboration or something. I'm not, I'm not sure what state you're from. I'm from the Northeast. I'm in, I'm in Maine right now. Oh, I just can't stop pacing around up here. I absolutely love it. Oh my god. So yeah, just get out. Live life. Adventure. By all means, put down the phone for a little while, which is exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to cook myself up some dinner. And I don't think I'm going to film that tonight just because uh, I'm going to heed my own message. I'm going to uh, get away from the social media and the electronics for a little while. I'm going to enjoy my time up here with my dog. If I don't come back to you guys uh, by the end of the night, uh, I will, I'll definitely be back in the morning with you. I will, I'll definitely show you some clips of the, whatever I get for a sunrise. Sunrise is over on this side, obviously. I mean, look at this this nice little spot right here. I mean, you could you could bring a party of people up here and pitch a few tents if you really wanted to. It'd be a good time. But anyway, like I said, I'm rambling now. I'm gonna give you guys one last view of this, and then I think I'm gonna sign off for the night and enjoy my time. Such a warm breeze right now. Tonight's gonna be a good night. See you guys in the morning. Hey guys, figured I'd come back real quick just to uh, show you guys how I sleep with my dog in the tent. That's how I do it. She doubles as my pillow during the night. And Gally? She is zonked right out. You're a good girl. Yeah, that's how I do it, you know. It kind of works like a heated pillow during the middle of the night, too. It keeps you nice and warm. But, uh, if anybody was wondering how I sleep with a, a dog in a single-person tent, that's how it's done. All right, guys, I got my campsite all cleaned up, as you can see. Come check out this sunrise we got. It's Gallatin. Just about ready to head out here on the trail. It's got time my boots up a little better, but I wanted to show you guys this. Really cool stuff. Gal, come on. Good girl. That's 
So I woke up to this morning. Hang it like that. Come on, come on. Good girl. Really guys, hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. I'm not one for really holding my camera while walking on the trail because I like to uh, really pay attention. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Really wanted to show off this beautiful sunrise though. Fell asleep to a beautiful sunset. Waking up to a beautiful sunrise. Like I said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been Moto Prepper. Peace out.